And the Bulls have rallied back to take the lead. Is this a run gun game or what? Both teams are pushing the ball down the court. Good awareness by Verdeo to attack the rim. McNeil fouled on the three point try. Kind of cooled off. He needs to be the guy to take that scoring responsibility on his shoulders. They uh, led by 10 in the first half at one point, failed by five in the second half. Shooting for his 21st point of the night. Tied up. 51 all with 548 to play. Uh, William says, uh, our character has been revealed. He said this is a really, really elite level special group that he's coaching. And they've uh, proved it tonight coming from behind, but now proving their character, the South Florida Bulls, as they've rallied back. Well, talking about character, there's a great quote. The game, they pre the answer they keep giving everybody is yes. Now they're hawking, they're always looking at the ball, these defenders, just waiting for any wrong movement to get it. So much quickness. These uh, defensive guards of Marquette. Now here's the freshman. Ah, and Aaron Tess, but he gets it back. Justin Lemau. Well, we said that Verdejo had to be the guy to give him that next offensive threat. Over his last 10 games, he's been shooting 24% from the three-point line and 29% from the field. Guess what? Today, he is 7 of 11 from the field. He's the playing man. lights out basketball. Yeah, he's the man right now, Jay. He scored the last nine for South Florida has for Dejo. And the South Florida, the two-point lead over the favorite Marquette Golden Eagles. Now, Don, I ask you a question. You got to go back to the well when he's hot, right? Run it till he gets, run it till he gets cold. Keep giving him the ball. Not for that. Marquette's probably looking for it, too. Here's Jones. Kick out to the freshman. He's a little hesitant to shoot. Lemau. Jones will launch if it's there. Great dish. Oh. An even better reject. What a spectacular defensive play. Only five team fouls. And USF with eight. Doesn't get it. Right for the rebound. Man, it's a battle every time. And they're going to call a hell ball. Terrific play by Jimmy Butler of Marquette. He's a freshman. Inbounds, a uh, beautiful play. Butler with the loose ball puts it back up and down. I like this style of basketball. There's somebody on the ground. Every possession, Don. There is. They're fighting. And they're both uh, struggling right now, trying to break away in this game. A 53 all tie. Verdejo, shot clock uh, still 18 on it. Luke lead down low. Marquette so quick to the ball. Acker gets it up for it. McNeil lead. Matthews. And Marquette takes the lead. Not taking one no. shot. He's only three of five, and he was three of five in the first half. I'd like to see him get the ball. He's been in and out of the game foul tour, but still, USF finding a way to maintain and stay in this ball game. And hey, listen, that's all you need is to give your team a chance. And Stan Heath is giving his team that opportunity. Verdejo comes to the basket and ties the game. He's now scored 11 of the last 13 points. Well, he scored the last 11 at 13 for USF. Mr. McNeil for Marquette has scored the last 13 out of 19. Jump pass, but to the wrong guy. Verdejo has been the force on the offensive end, scoring 11 of the Bulls' last 13 points, and now they have a chance to take back the lead. Are we going to see the undefeated Marquette team go down to a 2-7 and seven team? Anything is possible. It's college basketball, baby. We've had seven ties in this game. We've had five lead changes. Shoot it for Dale. Why not? You're hot. <laughs> He doesn't need a heat check. Somebody needs to give him a memo. There we go. Let it fly. He bricked it. Rebound Hayward. Here come the Golden Eagles with Acker with the ball. They're going to play a smart game now. Run their set. Look for something open. Got to wonder about conditioning right now for both teams. Marquette's used to playing this frantic style, but I don't know if USF is. Will he be able to, at the end of game situation, Make this smart play and not let fatigue play a factor. That might not be the shot they wanted, the long ball from Hacker when they had a lot of time on the shot clock. Now we're inside, two minutes to play. Jones, there he goes, you were calling for it. 
Then to get to the basket, and he does draw a foul. Uh, with the only unbeaten in Big East play this season, Marquette. We're tied at 55 with 150 to go. You know, the two things I see for this game so far, Marquette shooting 17% from three-point range, and also the assist to turnover ratio as a team. They're nine assists to nine turnovers. And also for USF, they're 15 assists to seven turnovers, basically a two-to-one assist turnover ratio. Doing a lot better job taking care of the basketball. And now, he kept <laughs> away, though, those quick hands of the Golden Eagles. I jinxed them. Yes. And now with a tie game and 121 on the clock, Dominique James looks over to his coach, gets the play call. Shot clock at 20. They'll work it down further. Our tonight also leading scorer in the game. Marquette takes back the lead. James surprisingly shooting 43% from the free throw line. It's not a good mark for a point guard. Six lead changes. Eight times we've been tied in this game. And now with 1.05 left to play. South Florida's coach Stan Heath says we want a timeout. Yep. For South Florida. And first they have to get it, Jay, because Marquette's ratcheting up this defense. Oh, they're all, that's James. He never takes his eye off the ball. And now a five and a foul. And James Matthews and Hayward, who's been quiet this entire game. Free and throws. Right Sorry, now you say you have to make free throws. We know they shoot 55% from the year. And how? Okay, the three-point shooting has been trouble. Arquette only four of 23 from the arc. And now with 36 seconds left in regulation and 18 seconds on the shot clock, Buzz Williams. And he wants to talk it over with Marquette. Two to 54, and now let's see what happens. The last time I did a game with Marquette, it was their game against NC State. And Dominic James gave me a look, and he hit the game-winning shot. He just gave me the same exact look. Three-point try. And the ball is down to South Florida. Dominique Jones drives to the basket, oh! puts it up and down, but there's still 15.9 to play. Well, I would really want him to slow the ball down in this situation, but that's why he is on the court. He has the ability to make spectacular plays. The old European step through right here, get to the other side of the rim and finish. Looking to give the uh, Bulls a two-point lead. He does not. Here goes, now here he comes goes. the Golden Eagles. Ten seconds to play. And a timeout signal by uh, Marquette. Before opportunities, now they're in the ball game. We'll see. Here we go. Marquette with the ball, down by one. Unbeaten in conference play. Matthews driving, shooting. No good. Put back. No good. Put back. No good. South Florida has beaten Marquette. Marquette had three point blank shots to put that ball in the bucket. Just couldn't get it done. And let's watch this final sequence. This is something. I mean, he got to the rim right here. Oh, man. He had the ball. What an ending. Marquette with three, maybe four chances with the tips. And then the red light went on and it was over. And Stan Heath has his biggest win as coach of South Florida.